Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, first of all, as I've said to many people, for anyone who missed the last video, I have not been throwing videos up because my dad was in a bit of an accident, so he's been hospitalised, so I've been back and forward trying to do what I can to make him comfortable up there. Uh, no, I haven't been in to see him, that's not allowed, so I've just been passing things back and forward. I've been basically tidying up the house and making sure everything is ready for when he gets home. In case you're wondering, I take care of him, so I'm basically his carer. I want to thank everyone for their understanding and I'll do what I can to get a few more videos out. Today I'm going to be doing Honest Trailers Godzilla vs Kong. I've seen this movie and it's what you would expect it to be. Two monsters kicking the crap out of each other and the storyline no one cares about. <clears throat> the humans. Unfortunately that is just we just want a King Kong Godzilla movie without humans having such a big role. I did not need to know about their past, about their backstories, about their dead relatives and partners. We're here to see Godzilla vs Kong, but anyway, my one, my favorite one still out of out, out of series is still Kong Island, Kong Skull Island. What's yours? Leave it down below. Remember to like, comment, and sub. And if you wish, dislike if you wish before YouTube strips it away. Um, let's just get into this and leave your comments and recs down below. Recommendations. Probably tough the title at Godzilla Fight King Kong, but we tell you who wins if that's what sort of thing matters to you. Mm, not really. In a year where he literally was a waste of time in this movie. He could have spent on something else. They always have to have the chunky, nerdy, computer, secret crush guy or whatever. Hmm. Exactly. Where's the backstory? Hmm. Remains constant. Absolutely no one watching gives a about any of it. Now make with the monkey bites. Boom. Ah, that's the stuff. Meet the humans of the monster verse because I had to. So now you do too. They're just here to yell out what's going on, even though there's no way any of them could possibly know that information. This is Godzilla attack the Apex facility. They're trying to use the axe. Radiation from the core like it's uh, I don't need to hear it, I'll just get to the fights. It's just a little tubes, man. How would you know that? But don't worry, they all have a backstory. Whether it's their dead wife, <sighs> dead brother, what really went wrong? Or dead love life, that's <laughs> He's not needed. You only need one group of humans to follow these movies, okay? Everyone else is there to either be squished and or cheer when Godzilla destroys their home. With a title like Godzilla versus Kong, 
They better deliver on the fights as they pit the titular titans against each other no less than three times. I mean, sure, Godzilla wins two out of three because, I mean, come on, <laughs> look at the guy. Mm. And yes, Kong spends more time on his back than Riley Reed. But the film will do everything in its power to make you root for the big hairy boy. Mm. He's friends with children. He loves snacks. And he's got Thor's axe. I like Kong, oh, on, but Godzilla is Godzilla. Godzilla. Part of Florida. Look at that. But no versus movie would be complete without them joining forces at the end against a surprise third fighter. Mega Godzilla. A giant Jaeger created to fight Godzilla until he loses human control and fights Godzilla. Mm. Causing the two beasts to team up against this man made atrocity and all three of them to team up against the city of Hong Kong. Yeah. That's got destroyed. No wonder this movie is huge in China. Hmm. Oh. So see it on the biggest screen you can. We're getting close to this right now. Is our phone. Even though it's probably best suited for one of those theme park rides with moving seats. That may not be the most intelligent thing you could be watching. But you know what? Neither are we. And we spoke this movie into existence back in 2014. Hmm. From the company who has the rights to Godzilla. King Kong and Pacific Rim. So please, please, please do a crossover where they all fight each other and stuff. You're welcome. Yeah. He did Sorry. actually. I get knocked down, but I get up again. That's how good these are. Hmm. Just make out already. You're perfect for each other. On today's show, we're going to reveal the horrible truth. But first, I'd like to tell you about Squarespace. Billionaires shouldn't exist. Mecha like a high, mecha hidey ho. The Chris Hemsworth of the Brothers Scarscar. Hmm. Let them fight uh, Pre-Teen Titans And Physics I like Titans punch out Weekend and a both I'm trying to king shame But why are all these monsters always trying to spit in each other's mouth That's not a thing real animals do hmm. They learn this from watching people I want to yeah. die so bad, but I don't think I can spare the moisture. I was as expected. They did not roast it badly. It was a movie, good movie for what it was. But all the points I made about the kid, the humans, so on and so forth, they agreed with. Like one group of humans, just Bobby Brown, that weirdo with the glasses, and the black guy. Just followed all that group around and that's all you would need. And I don't know, or the other ones, whichever was your prefer, preferred uh, group of humans. So, yeah, I enjoyed that movie. I, I went back and I watched Skull Island after I watched that, which just reinforced how much I enjoyed that movie. Um, Let me know down below, what did you think of this movie? What could have been, what could have been done better? Do you think Mecha Godzilla was a little too easy to do? I figured they were going to do it before the first trailer dropped, so I thought they were keeping that for another movie. But anyway, do you want the money? So remember to like, comment, sub. Feel free to leave anything on the comments once it is, res well, not over the top. And I will see you all in the next reaction. Bye.